Hey, so me and the wife over here, we love our electric bikes. Yes. Um, it's great for us because we love to travel, we love to do different things, and we love to go around town without having to deal with the traffic. That's why we got our last electric bikes. But we sold them because we're... They're, they're a little uh, too tall for us. <laughs> yeah, we're a couple of shorties, uh, a couple of Oompa Loompas. Uh, you know, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's normal size for a female, and I am well undersized for a male at five foot four. So we wound up selling our Camp Scramblers, and we purchased the new Rip Racer. But that is not what's in this box here. This is something because my Rip Racer, our Rip Racers, they got delayed. So I'm a little disappointed. Summer's coming up, weather's getting better, and we need some electric bikes, yes. right? We need some bikes or something to... We, we got to enjoy the weather. We're, yes. we're, you know, we can't, we can't afford the, the nicer things all the time. So when we go out and we don't want to spend money, we take our bikes with us. But, again, it got delayed for the Rip Racer, so we decided to pick up the cheapest full-featured e-bike on Amazon. So I, I want to... Full featured. Yeah. Full featured. All right. So I can't do with those like three hundred dollar bikes, those two hundred dollar bikes. You know those Jetsons that you put like your feet on the pegs, <laughs> and you don't actually pedal at all. Because I, I do like some exercise. I do like pedaling. I know you can't tell. <laughs> so we decided to get the cheapest full featured bike that we can find, and it was five hundred and fifty dollars for a Sail Novo. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Sail Novo. Sail Nova. Sail Novo. Like okay. All right. So let's open up this box, see what's inside, get it set up, and let's do our first test ride. There's a big old hole here, but I don't think that's from Amazon. That's probably from UPS. Yeah, we're not going to hold Sail Novo or Amazon accountable for something that UPS did. I think it'll be fine. It's probably foam in there. You okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got hit by one of these staples, right? The biggest, big staples, yeah. Yeah, one like of these. Stabbed me in the finger. Oh. Okay. All right, so yeah, there's a bunch of foam in here. A box that probably has what looks like the seat, maybe. Oh uh, yeah, the seat sticking out of it. Yeah, sticking out. There's a hole in the bottom of it. Mm. <laughs> and they foamed it up for you, so. All right, so we got to see if there's any scratches on the bike with the big hole on the side. All right. All right, let me clip this ugly-looking microphone up here because I didn't feel like I didn't feel like uh, actually putting the wire through. <laughs> That's why I got this one here. All right, this is supposed to be 55 pounds. Okay. It's not that That's I can't lift the bike; it's just kind of stuck in the cardboard. <laughs> yeah. That's why you're lifting it, right? Here. Let's we'll take let's well, take this cardboard out. out. Probably work if you that cardboard out. Though. Okay, take two. Ugh, get this box! Get this box out of here! <laughs> it looks like it's mostly assembled already. Okay, uh, so some foam yeah, here. Like... There's some foam over here by the hub motor. Um, we got foam on the other side of the hub motor. And it looks like we need to cup some zip ties over here. Yep, this is uh, semi-folding, so like the handlebars fold down, but and the the foot peg, no, not the foot pegs, but the pedals. I'm having a stroke over here. I don't remember what a pedal was. Someone uh, added a beat into that. <laughs> Jesus! They, they do protect it well, that we'll foam, say that. That foam was really on there, huh? Um, any damage to the bike with that hole? Nope. It doesn't look like it. I don't see anything at all. What's this? Uh, What's dust. This? Dust, okay. <laughs> you ever seen dust before, <laughs> Tina? Apparently not. Yeah, I will say that there's minimal, minimal mess too. Like with the foam that's in here, protect it well. It came from California, we're over on the East Coast, and it protected it well, and there's not much to throw away, because, you know, our trash company uh, only takes one pail at a time. Let's 
put up the handlebars. At least that's how I think to clip it in, right? That's it. Yeah, it's in there. Pull it up and then snap it in, basically. The wheel's pretty straight already. Um, let's unhinge the handlebars, pull them to where we want it to be there so we can actually see the, what is this? This, this display, the light, the horn. Uh, when I say full featured, full featured, cheapest bike, I mean full featured. We're going to go over that in just a moment and put the kick stand down. It does have the mud flap in the back. All you got to do is just put it down. That's it. That's pretty cool. And I'm assuming the pedals, charger, and all that other good stuff is in this box with the seat. What's sticking out of the hole in the bottom. Ooh, right. that actually looks pretty cushy. Let's take this off. Yeah, this is actually pretty, pretty nice. It has a little Ooh. hole in the middle, I guess. What's this hole for again? Um, <laughs> it's for your nuts. Your nuts? Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's to I have make, no idea. Make sure your nuts and your vag breathe well. And it, and it feels pretty nice. It feels like it has a little bit of foam to it. It doesn't feels feel like nice and cushy. Yeah, it doesn't feel See, like See, you, you got all the protection. I got nothing. So I have to have something <laughs> like this for me. What else I got in this box over here? So, uh, let's see what else I got in here. Um, oh, the pedals. Looks like they just screw in. Are they marked left and right? Uh, they are. Okay, cool. All right, because I'm, yeah. I'm dumb. Two different colors, And too. one wrench Digital. in the bag <laughs> with the user manual that user we're probably manual. not going to use. And, and I'm assuming that's the charger. Yes. And this is the charger. And I believe that's a two-amp charger. I'm not sure. It, yep. This is a two-amp charger, yep. Oh, it's even marked here. Okay, and make sure. you don't know what your left and yeah, right are. That's right. And apparently I can't screw it in. It's, you have to, like, catch it. Um, also, you have to remember that the pedal still oh, that's moves, so you, there you go. And then you have this little tool here to get the rest of it oh. and tighten it up. Should just use that from the beginning, right? Now the last thing to do is put on that bad boy. So it looks probably like it just sits in there and then... Let's unclamp let's it first. Let's unclamp it first. If I could just... Tighten that up for the clamp. Pick the, the seat height, which is the lowest for us, because yeah. we're two foot tall. I'm four foot 16, that's what I am. <laughs> uh, there we go, just tighten that bolt up a little bit. Is four the foot seat, 15 or four foot 16. Is the seat straight? Is the penis facing right towards the bar? Yes. Looks like it. And then you just... Tighten it up. Tighten that, and that's it, and there's your bike. Wow. Look now at that, that took like five whole minutes. Not even, probably. Yeah, that was like... Yeah, like less than five minutes. Oh, and here's the keys. This is how you start it, kind of like a car. Okay, so why do I consider this weird looking alien bike that's really small a full featured bike? Oh, well, I'll tell you why. First of all, it has suspension seat. Not only does it have the suspension seat, it's not a suspension post, but it's got a suspension seat, but it's got the hydraulics right here for a cushy ride. Let me show you as I lean on it. It has keys. So therefore, if someone takes your bike, it's just a regular bike, it's no longer an e-bike. You need keys in there. Look at the uh, speedometer right here. Let's check this out. This miles per hour. So some of the previous versions you might have seen online, if you were looking this up, do not have miles per hour. It has kilometers per hour. We're in the United States. We do things different over here. We have to do everything different, right? But this has miles per hour on it. This is also a 450 watt motor. That's good enough to get you around town and up 15 degree hills, it says. I bet I can do something better than 15 degrees. I'm going to try it out. We're going to try it out here. Now, when you hit the brakes, check this out. You're riding your bike. There's someone behind you, maybe a car or something, right? Maybe there's another bike behind you. You hit the brakes and the lights come on. Safety. Safety first. I love it. It has a headlight. Here's the on-off switch right here. It's bright as anything. Bright. Faces down, got a nice curve, goes towards the floor. That way you can see where you're riding. Also, in this headlight, I'm not going to blind you guys by keeping it on. There's a speaker there. What's that speaker for? The horn! It is the goofiest horn I've ever heard. But guess what? If there's someone in your way, safety first. There's a horn. We're not going to run people over. Someone stops right in front of you in the walking path because you're riding your electric bike in the walking path. Get the hell out of the way. 
we're coming at 15 miles per hour, all right? Not only do you have the brake light, the suspension seat, you have the pedal assist, right? You have three modes. Let's be honest, you're probably not gonna use any of those modes. You're probably gonna use all electric. And if you don't have all electric, you're just gonna do regular bike riding, right? Here's my favorite part. It has a 10.4 amp battery, 36 volts. So it's not super powerful, but it's a 10.4 amp battery, which is larger than some other bigger bikes. The electric bike has less than 10 amp hour battery. For me, at a minimum, I have to have 10 amp hours in order to do you know, some actual traveling and not driving up the block and back before the battery's dead. Uh, you know, the toy bike. That's why I don't consider this a toy bike. This is a full featured bike, once again. I love it, and you know what, Tina, come here, come here. Give me the camera. Tina's gonna have to watch out because all the women are gonna try to stop me. Oh yeah. While we're <laughs> riding, while riding this bad boy right here. So you yeah, know, <laughs> this is a pussy magnet. Oh yeah. And then I gotta watch for out sure. for Tina because all that dick's gonna be thrown at her as, oh, <laughs> as she yeah. rides by on the bike, especially in those jeans. All right. So let's get out and let's try this bike. travel with this thing since it's compact um, you just push the pedals in you fold them up you pull this up you pull the handlebar down fold it in and there it's compact you can put it in the back of your car All right, so I want to do one more thing before we end this video. I just want to check out that front headlight and just see how well it lights up the road when riding at night. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that really uh, illuminates the road there. Wait, hold on. I'm like turning the handlebar, yet it stays. Oh, yeah. The light doesn't move. The wheel does. So I guess it keeps you illuminated no matter where you turn your handlebar. this skin color i really do look like an opa uh but yes in conclusion um yeah we don't have great lighting in here yeah. in conclusion is this the best bike it's not the best bike um i will say that there is a reason why we buy the more expensive bikes um but this one is is a good secondary bike if or even a starter bike 
Yeah, if you're commuting and you want to get around to your job and your job's not that far away, you want to save money on gas. If you want to save money going down to the local bodega, yeah. you're going to the beach, whatever, you're saving gas. We definitely need to save gas around this time. <laughs> definitely. Right? Or gas is too much. if you have some friends, we don't have many friends, but if you do have some friends and you have like that nice bike, that $1,500 bike, that $1,800 bike, they even cost even more than that, I mean, right? Like 2000 yeah. Yeah, you don't want your friends riding your expensive bike. You want to, you know, ride those bikes. But this is a good secondary bike. And I will say, I'm going to zip around the neighborhood with this. Or when we go somewhere and we don't feel like loading the heavy bikes on the rack, load this up right in the oh, trunk. Yeah. This, this is so much easier to put in the trunk than, like, there are more expensive bikes are. Again, yes. the most full-featured, inexpensive bike on Amazon just make sure. I'm going to leave a link below for those of you that were thinking about buying and are going buy to it. buy it. Buy it from the link below. Not just because you're going to be helping us out, but I will say this. The link that we bought it from, we're the only ones that we know that have the uh, speedometer in miles per hour. It's the yes. only one that we know about that has a 450 watt motor. Instead of the 15 miles per hour that other people have reviewed, this one actually goes 18 miles per hour. The 18 miles an hour. <laughs> All the other ones that we heard about from the Chinese versions, and we would have been okay with the 14, 15 miles an hour. We would have been okay with yeah. that. But we actually get the advertised speed of the 18 miles per hour. So if you do want to purchase the bike, I would suggest getting the one through the link below that we bought ours from. We were lucky. We got the upgraded model. Maybe the other ones will change to that. But at this point in time, the only one that I know about is this one that we bought. All right, so thanks for joining us today. Thanks for clicking this okay. video. I tell you to subscribe and all that, but you know, whatever. You're going to do whatever you want to do anyways. Us telling you to do it, ain't, you ain't going to listen to us. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Whether you want to do it, you don't want to do it, it is what it is. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our videos, though. <laughs> Thank see you. you next time.